Surveillance video shows a man now charged in a deadly hit and run crash running away from the scene in Central Mass. Police tracked him down and arrested him minutes later, not far from the crash that killed a husband and father of three and seriously injured another person. Tashani Whitlow is in Auburn tonight where she spoke with the victim's brother. Family identified that victim as 54-year-old father of three, Mike Robidoux of Auburn. Family describing the owner of Central Mass Towing as a man who would give you the shirt off his back. But to lose him this way, that's just uncalled for. Tim Robidoux remembering his brother, Mike Robidoux. He was a passenger in a Jeep Grand Cherokee that sources tell our I-team was hit while police were pursuing a driver of a Ford Explorer on Route 20 in Auburn. He always tells people to get out of the tow truck's way, and all of a sudden something out of the blue comes right into his lane head on. <laughs> That's awful. The district attorney says a Ford Explorer crossed that double line on Washington Street, hitting a Toyota Tacoma truck and Robidoux's vehicle, which were coming from the opposite direction. Robidoux, the owner of Central Mass Towing, leaves behind a wife, three sons, and 12 siblings, according to his brother. He took away the, the honest guy in the world that would help everybody out. It's just wrong. Sue Bonnegill says she and her husband are lucky to be alive after capturing the accident on their dash cam. Evidence police are now reviewing. Thank God at the last minute he saw him move, he moved out of the way because otherwise he would have hit us. Nearby video surveillance captured the driver of that Ford Explorer taking off on foot after that crash and police chasing him. That suspect was arrested a short time later. Sources telling our I-team that suspect is in custody with non-life-threatening injuries. Meanwhile, the driver of that Jeep is in serious condition tonight. In Auburn, Tishani Whitlow, WBZ News.